Even in challenging work environments, consistent and reliable fuel system performance is possible. The key is good service practices. Before we look at the Donaldson Company's step-by-step -step fuel filtration service guidelines, here are the pictograms which are printed on Donaldson fuel filters. Do not use tools. Remember that tools can dent filter housings. Also do not use spin-on filters with dented housings. Clean the filter base. Lubricate the gasket. Hand tighten. Fill with fuel, remembering to fill the fuel filter with clean fuel on the dirty side of the filter. Don't make the mistake of pouring dirty fuel down the filter center tube. Complete filter tightening to the number of turns designated on the filter icons. Open fuel filter water separator valve, drain and close. This one indicates a twist and drain fuel filter water separator. These recycling pictograms indicate the importance of proper disposal. Follow your regional guidelines or laws regulating disposal of filters. When changing fuel filters, use a clean cloth. To avoid fuel contamination, make sure the fuel to be used during filter installation is clean and that it has been stored in a container protected with a cap or lid. Before installation, if it's a fuel filter water separator with drain, drain the old filter. Unscrew and remove the old filter. Remove the old filter gasket if still attached to the base. Remove the old thread seal gasket if one is present. Wipe the filter mounting base or head with a clean cloth. To install a new spin-on, ensure that the new filter is not damaged. Then follow these steps. If the manufacturer recommends, fill the new filter with clean fuel on the dirty side of the filter. Apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the new filter gasket. Do not use grease. Also be sure never to use fuel to lubricate the gasket. Fuel isn't as lubricating as oil. Install a new thread seal if your system requires one. Align the filter threads to the mounting base or head and spin the new filter on until the gasket contacts the base. Follow the instructions on the filter pictogram for final tightening torque specification. Do not use a filter wrench to tighten. Hand tighten only. Prime the fuel system by following the system priming instructions to remove all air from the fuel system. This is to minimize the starting time required after the filter change. After installation, start the engine and check for leaks, and correct the source of leaks if any are observed. In assemblies with bowls, make sure you replace the bowl gasket too. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Inspect the new filter. If the filter is a water separator with a drain, Drain out the water. Remove the used filter and gasket. Remove thread seal and install new seal. Clean the filter mounting head. Pre-fill the filter. Lubricate the filter gasket. Line up the filter threads to the receiver. Install new filter per instructions. Prime fuel system. Start engine and check for leaks. For filters with bowls, Ensure that you replace the bowl gasket as well. Now we turn to cartridge filter change-out steps. There are several types of cartridge filters and housings. First, for metal-free cartridge filter change-out, follow these steps. Loosen the cap slowly. By starting to unscrew the cap, a valve will open and allow the fuel to flow out of the housing. Then remove the cap and cartridge or element assembly. Remove the gasket from the base if one is present. The cartridge should be attached to the cap when it is removed. Unsnap the cartridge from the cap and dispose in accordance with local disposal guidelines. Remove the old o-ring from the cap. Clean the cap and housing with a clean cloth. To install, fit the new gasket or o-ring in the cap. Place the new filter cartridge into the cap 
and install a new gasket on the base if one is required. Reinstall the cap with the filter cartridge and tighten the cap to proper torque per ICON instructions if present, or follow manufacturer's guidelines. Prime the fuel system by following system priming instructions to remove all air from the fuel system. This will minimize starting time required after the filter change. After installation, start the engine and check for leaks. For DAVCO type cartridge filters, follow these steps. Remove the vent cap and open the drain valve to drain the fuel below the collar level. Remove the cover and collar. Remove the filter cartridge, cover seal, and vent cap seal and dispose of them properly. If the grommet from the base of the cartridge has detached itself and remains behind on the stud, remove and dispose of it. Using a clean rag, clean the cover, the collar and threads on the fuel processor body. Check to verify that the grommet is in place on the bottom of the filter cartridge and install the new cartridge. Install the cover seal, then install the cover and collar. Hand tighten the collar. Fill the cover with fuel. Fit the new vent cap seal onto the vent cap and hand tighten the vent cap in place. Start the engine. When the lubrication system reaches normal operating pressure, increase the engine RPM for one minute. Slowly open the vent cap until the fuel level reaches 1 inch or 25 millimeters above the collar. As a final step, hand tighten the vent cap. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Drain fuel, water and dirt from the canister and close the drain. Loosen the cap slowly. Remove the used filter and gasket. Clean the housing seal area and cap. Install and lubricate O-rings, gaskets, and housing seals. Install new filter per instructions. Prime fuel system. Start engine and check for leaks. Now, here are a few fuel system tips. What advice is there for avoiding engine performance problems related to impurities in fuel? Drain water from your primary filter daily when refueling. Carry a spare set of fuel filters in case you receive a bad load of fuel. Remember that if the filter becomes clogged, it's doing its job in catching harmful contaminant that could lead to more expensive repairs. Never switch to less effective filters to get longer filter life. This will reduce fuel pump and injector life. When using your own fuel storage tank, remember that removing contaminants before they reach the vehicle is the first part of the best practices process. So ensure you have effective bulk storage tank filtration. Ask your Donaldson dealer about bulk fuel filtration. If using biodiesel, make certain your fuel supplier meets current fuel standards. Ensure that your engine is compatible with the concentration or percentage biodiesel you wish to use. Note that if you intend to change from ordinary diesel fuel to biodiesel, you need to be aware of biodiesel's possible effects. The engine deposits that are released when you switch to biodiesel can clog the filters. If you plan to switch fuels, cleaning your system before making the switch to biodiesel will help prevent or minimize additional maintenance expense. What is the difference between primary and secondary fuel filters? Generally, primary filters are used to separate water and larger particles, a 10 to 50 micron efficiency, while secondary filters are for final filtration, less than 3 to 15 micron efficiency. Primary filters frequently have treated media, such as Donaldson Syntec media, to provide water separation performance. Secondary filters are usually an untreated cellulose or purely synthetic media. These differences mainly have to do with the water separation requirements placed on primary fuel filters. Do all primary fuel filters have a drain? 
Most primary fuel filters have drains that allow the operator to drain the water that has been separated by the filter. It is also recommended that you pay attention to how much water is removed at each drain and adjust your drain frequency accordingly. How do you ensure that a replacement fuel filter has the correct micron rating for the technology used in a particular engine and injection system? When replacing your fuel filter, ensure that you use the specific recommended replacement or a direct cross-match from a reputable filter manufacturer you trust. Will using aftermarket filters void my warranty? Equipment manufacturer warranties remain in effect when using Donaldson filters. In the event equipment is damaged as a result of the use of a Donaldson filter, then the Donaldson warranty will apply. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.